In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the most of Instagram to promote your music. With services like SoundCloud facing an uncertain future if headlines are anything to go by, Instagram has a huge platform and whilst it has its limitations, it can be a useful tool to help people discover your music. So the first thing you need to decide is if you need a separate Instagram account for your music. If you post to Instagram regularly, this may be a good idea as what you don't want fans to have is a stream of good music interspersed with random photos of your feet on a beach in Spain or of your grandmother's birthday cake. Now the next step is quite obvious but an important one. Having a decent profile picture and description will make it easier for people to know what your Instagram profile is all about. The bio should include a very brief description of what genre of music you create. For the website, don't link to a blog, Twitter or Facebook page, but to a place where people can listen to your songs and make a quick purchase. If your music is on Bandcamp or CD Baby, link to those pages instead. So what should you post? Well, everyone loves photos of instruments and gear, so definitely do that. If you're making music on the iPhone or iPad, you should take advantage of the screen recording function. This will enable you to put your music straight onto Instagram. The limit is that you can only show people about a minute of your music, but if you point people towards a website where they can hear the whole track or buy it, then that's fine. If you don't make music on an iPhone or iPad but own one of those devices, you can easily create videos with the Wizabel app. Wizabel lets you import music, then create a video with images or album art and elements that move in time with the music. You can easily overlay titles and other information too. Failing that, use your phone to make creative videos and sync that with your music. What you need to aim for is a variety of content, so avoid being too repetitive. Once you're ready to post, make use of hashtags. Typing loads out each time can be a pain, so I keep a bank of them in the notes app on my phone. Instagram will tell you how popular a hashtag is, but even if it's not that popular, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't use it. Just make sure you don't use too many of them though, as it can be quite annoying for the people who follow you. Also, make sure you tag companies if you've used their software or gear. For example, I tagged the Cork Instagram account for a track I made using Cork Gadget. Next, make your account into a business account. It's completely free and lets you access stats for your account, as well as save and feature Instagram stories on your profile. Finally, once you're up and running, the best tip is to engage. Follow and listen to other musicians' music. Don't be one of those people who sits back and expects everyone to find and listen to your music, or one of those people who goes around Instagram begging for likes and followers. Have fun with it, and most importantly, don't get obsessed with numbers.